Hey guys, welcome back to All in the Law. This is a quick internal medicine, and today I'm going to talk about a very important EKG finding. What's the normal variation of R waves, or how to diagnose what you call a, a right ventricular hypertrophy by R waves? So only I'm going to talk about the R waves in this disease, as in the previous video we discussed about the left ventricular hypertrophy concerned with the R and the S waves. That was really very important how to diagnose left ventricular hypertrophy based on the changes found in R and S waves. So please watch that video so that you will get an idea. So in this video it's gonna be very small okay the right ventricular hypertrophy. So if this is a heart okay lead 1 lead 2 okay lead 3 right then we have a v l okay then we have what you call v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 okay v1 V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. To diagnose the right ventricular hypertrophy, we need a lead that looks at the right ventricle. Means we're gonna say right ventricular hypertrophy. Now you have to tell me which lead looks at the right ventricle. Is the only one thing that remember that's V1. He's the only one guy who is looking at this left ventricle. Okay, left ventricle, sorry, 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 right ventricle, exactly, okay, right ventricle. So V1 is the only lead that is looking at the right ventricle, right? So if you see what a patient with a right ventricle hypertrophy, you see dominant R waves that is bigger than S wave in the leads that look at the right ventricle, especially V1. Okay, we know that the R waves increases in the height from V1 to V6. As you proceed from V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6, the R waves keep on increasing in the height. Okay, that's why the R wave will be very bigger in a V5 and a V6. It has reached the maximum. Okay, if the R wave is very dominant, more than 25 millimeter in a V1 is going to be right ventricular hypertrophy because the V1 is looking at the right ventricle. Right? What's the normal variation? What's the normal height limit of R wave? It should not exceed 25 millimeter in height. If it's exceeding more than 25 millimeter, means it's abnormal. Okay? Right, guys? Remember the right ventricular hypertrophy is also associated with the right axis deviation. That's really very important. In a previous video, we uploaded how to identify the cardiac axis very quickly. Okay? And very easy method. Then the uh, left right ventricular hypertrophy is associated with the deep S waves in a lead, what you call V5 and a V6. Okay? Deep S waves in a lead V5 and a V6 and right bundle branch block can be associated with this right ventricular hypertrophy. But one thing I would like to stress you guys that remember you cannot diagnose the right ventricular hypertrophy based on this only one finding that's a dominant R waves in a V1 but you have to look for other signs, symptoms and other EKG findings which we are gonna discuss in a later video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.